I did a video earlier showing people how to use a VLOOKUP that works on a data validation. So for instance, um, if I changed in A2, I've got a drop down, and if I change it to say carrots, it's going to change the item in B2 from fruit to veg. And it was based on, on this table here. It was. So look at carrots and it would bring back vegetables. But you can also use the newer function, the X lookup. So I thought it might be useful to do the X lookup. So what I'm going to do is first of all show you how to do that and we'll have a look around the spreadsheet first. So let's have a look at this little table here. That one there. And to do that you need to click on it and the table design menu will come up or the table design tab. There it is up there. So what I need to do now is I need to click on table design and at the beginning, table design, you'll see I have named the table there, it is TBL through. So it's always a good idea to name your tables before you start. And in fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the blue table as well. And if we look up now where the name is, it says table free. Well, I don't want that. So I'm going to call that TBL sales. Okay. So, and don't put spaces in table names. So when you create a table name, you're creating a structure. You're allowing yourself to find your way around a spreadsheet. And it also means that when we reference a table, it references the whole thing. You don't get that problem, but when you drag down the formula, it's still referencing cells up here and your data's down here. Okay, so that, that's the looking around side of it. So what we want to do now is we want to look up a2 and from this table here I want to bring back the category whether it's a fruit or a veg so I'm looking up carrots and if we do a manual one here you'll see carrots is a vegetable so it should bring back the word vegetable and um, okay that's fine and my previous video showed you how to do that, do that with a VLOOKUP this time I can use an XLOOKUP which is a newer function uh, you only have it if you've got a newer version of Excel, so you really need Excel 365, otherwise you won't have it. But um, let's see. So we're going to click on B2. We're going to go up to the Formulas tab, and we're going to go look up a reference and X look up. There it is. Okay. Now when you first open this, you think, oh my goodness, there's quite a lot there. Don't panic. So the first bit is the same as the V lookup. We need the lookup value, and the lookup value is going to be in A2. That's the information that sits outside the table we're looking up from, but we want to find out the information on. So let's put in A2. I'll just click on it there. Okay. Now, I'm then going to bring up my lookup look up array, and that will be with the X lookup. It's the column where that information is found. So I'm actually just going to highlight this column of my table to say, that's where that item is. So all I need to do is go to the top. I don't want the whole of column G, I'm just gonna come down. So the little black arrow is just heading into the word item, click once, and it will just pick up the column of the table. So if we look at what it's filled in, it's got TBL fruit and then square brackets item. So you've got to check that's how it's showing, otherwise it might not work. Okay, and the next bit is the return array. So basically the information I want to bring back. So all I'm going to do here is do the fruit and veg column. So I'm going to go to the top again, not the whole column. So I'm going to come down a little bit and then I'm just going to highlight. And so it's got on the wizard, it's got TBL fruit and in square brackets fruit or veg. Um, I have a couple of other options, if not found. So what that would do, that would allow me to put a text in um, if it wasn't found in my list, I could put check because I want people to check it. And the last one is the match mode. Now this would be the true or the false in the old V lookup, and X lookup defaults to false, so it will always look for an exact match first rather than um, V lookup, which looked for a variable. This is exact because I want the word carrots, and in the table I'm looking for the word carrots. I'm going to leave that as it is and choose OK. And there we go. So that has worked um, all the way down my list. 
okay and I've just realized I've just misspelled vegetable so I'm just going to go over to my table it's quite handy this actually because all I need to do is change it there and I've only got, I've got three entries so I'll just change all three and that changes it in the main data so one, one advantage using a VLOOKUP is you don't need to go uh, an XLOOKUP you don't need to go through the whole thing and um, let's just show you because we did the wizard I'm going to show you how to, how to type it in manually because it's quite easy so let's just delete that and oh by the way to delete it what I did click on B2 and I used control shift and down arrow and that goes all the way to the bottom of the column so control shift down tap delete okay so clicking B2 let's try and type it this time so equals X look up and open bracket so it wants to look up value which is a two comma sorry comma now with the lookup array, so I could go over to the table and just highlight that first column where the data was found, comma. Now I need the return array. Go to the top of the column, click, and then I don't need the other arguments because um, I don't. They're all in there, and I don't. It's always going to be a false. So I'm just going to close my brackets and press enter, and that will work it out all the way down. So um, that's your X lookup, really good function. A lot of people are starting to use it. You're going to see it more and more. Um, I think it's going to be a while before VLOOKUP actually disappears. Um, we are looking at it on our uh, monthly surgeries. We're going to have a session on X lookup. Um, that comes up in, that's in our August session. Um, I'll put a link to that in the, in the comments in the, on the YouTube video. It is. But hopefully you found that useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. Thank you for watching and if you've got any suggestions of other videos just let me know.